In this video, we have a Pentair Superflow variable speed pump that is installed and running on inch and a half sized plumbing. Now, currently, this pump is running at half RPM value, or sorry, half maximum RPM value. 3,450 RPM is the maximum um, speed for this electric motor. I've got it running at half of that value right now so that we can examine what the flow rate is and what the electrical consumption is with this pump running under these conditions. So let's take a look here. It's already running at 1,730. That's as close as I can get it, um, being conservative and, and going over. So it's actually just a little bit over, just a smidge over half speed. And under these conditions, it's currently drawing 1.76 amps, approximately 358, 359 watts. Now, in some previous videos that I've made, that wattage number might have looked different because it auto adjusts under heavy load and the decimal place will move three places to the left and it will become kilowatts instead of watts. But because this pump is using very little power right now, it's, it's as watts. So it's, you know, 360 watts, let's call that, or that would be 0.36 kilowatts. If we ran this pump for one hour like this, you would use 0.36 kilowatts of power. Let's take a look at the flow rate. Looks like that flow rate is just under 40 gallons a minute. I'm going to call that 38 gallons per minute. Now that's just for this particular installation. That's not an exact number that you would experience on your swimming pool. But for this example, we're able to achieve 38 gallons a minute running on inch and a half pipe, operating at half RPM, consuming 1.7 amps or 360 watts of power. Now let's do something with those numbers. So it was 0.36 kilowatt hours that it was using. If this thing ran for an hour like this, it would use 0.36 kilowatts of power. The nationwide average price for electricity is 13 cents for a kilowatt hour. So we're just going to take 36 or 0.36. times 13 cents so you're looking at just over four and a half cents four and a half cents for an hour it's really low it's really interesting okay so if you ran it all day like this 24 hours a day you ran it like this it would cost you a dollar twelve a dollar twelve to run it that's interesting so let's suppose that we did that we had 38 gallons per minute and there's 60 minutes in an hour. So that's how many gallons we're moving in an hour, 2,280 gallons in an hour. Say we moved it for 24 hours like that, because that's what we're looking at here. It was just over a buck to do that. So we were able to achieve 54,720 gallons of filtration in a 24 hour period for the price of a dollar 12, I think it was just over a dollar. In any case, that's pretty impressive. And that is achieved simply by turning the RPM in half. I mean, that's even old technology. Dual speed pumps have been a, a thing for decades and with good reason, because you, as you can see, you save a ton of money when you turn down the RPM here. But um, you can even go further with a variable speed pump because they have this rheostatic control and you can just wind up or down the, the speed of the motor you know, if you have a pool that's pretty basic with, without a lot of heavy needs and draws and things like that, you could really, really save a lot of money on your filtration by, you know, examining what flow your pool needs and then dialing that in with a variable speed pump. But supposing you just don't have the time for any of this, even just getting something like this and running it at half speed like this, you can achieve a ton of filtration value, like 60,000 gallons of filtration for just over a buck. That's pretty good. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.